Hey YouTube, happy day. Hope you're having a great day. It is extremely cold here in Dallas, Texas, and I was wanting to plant my onion starts, but I was unable to do so. And I was like, hmm, maybe um, I can make a video. It is about, I think, 27 degree Fahrenheit wind chill, which is pretty cold for Texas standard. I'm having to wear my gloves, a jacket, a sweater, a shirt, so many layers. It's cold. And I'm here in my horse stall uh, because my horses are not cold. They are enjoying life outside. Let me just show it to you guys. Here are my livestock guardian dogs. That's Thor and Loki. Um, let's see where the horses are. There he is. Uh, and the rest of them are right here next to him but we won't be able to see them but anyways so i'm going to put my camera right here in the cover of this nice cozy stall all right okay so i wanted to give you five reasons why you should garden just a little bit background about my gardening history um as a little kid i my dad always did gardening so it ins I always loved plants and um, I've uh, always been growing a lot of plants with my dad when I was a little kid. Um, and I was back in India when I was growing up. Uh, when I came to United States, uh, did my um, studies. Obviously, I didn't have time or the money or um, any, any space or anything like that um, to do so. But when we bought our first home, right away the first thing i wanted to do was grow something in my backyard and um i was able to get some some things planted uh when i started that was i think 17 years ago i was pregnant and i started with a beautiful garden i had sunflowers cucumbers and everything started to grow from seed and uh it was such a uh, such an awesome awesome experience to grow that um after the first year you know when my kid was a toddler uh it was back and forth on and off gardening because i had another kid um it was hard to manage the time of uh, gardening versus taking care of the toddlers you know putting everything in their mouth and anyways but i always did on and off gardening um few years back, I would say eight years ago, we bought a big property um, which with a lot of space. Um, and the first thing I wanted to do was garden too at, back then. Uh, I, I did up to a certain point, but we were very busy in getting our property, our house perfectly the way we wanted it. and. Bottom line is didn't have time to do full on gardening. But now I'm all settled from last few years and I've been, I have had the opportunity to do all the gardening I wanted to. And I have the space and resource and somewhat time, don't have as much time. I really still struggle to have time, but I've had uh, time, uh, opportunity, space, and everything that I needed. Um, to garden. Uh, last year I did a lot of raised bed gardening and I love raised beds. Anyways, I wanted to talk about five reasons why everybody should garden or why, why I love gardening so much. And hopefully this inspires you guys to garden and grow something. I think everybody can garden. It, there is no such thing as green thumb or brown thumb or black thumb. I think if you keep trying and if you work at it, you anybody can grow. Um, if you buy a plant and it's not successful, buy another variety and don't get discouraged. Um, but um, and, and you don't even have to buy it. You can grow something from a grocery store, something from your scraps. So I'll make another video about that. But. Give, I'm going to focus on five reasons why you should grow. Um, one reason that we really have um, really, really benefited from growing, 
Um, sorry, my horse was distracting me. She is right there waiting uh, to uh, me to give her some hay or something. So, all right, back to the video. Reason number one is you have one less reason to run to the grocery store. For example, some uh, I cook a lot of Indian food. It needs curries, curry leaves, uh, green chilies, um, a lot of mint. Um, we also make a lot of Italian, so we loved putting uh, spinach, or sorry, not spinach, basil leaves. Uh, also Thai curry. Um, I love Thai curry and Thai basil. And I, I really don't have to go to grocery store now as much for those small tiny herbs or something. Oh, I, I don't have curry leaves, I can't make this. Or I don't have basil, I can't make this, you know. Uh, I do uh, use dried basil and dried curry leaves here in this type of weather because I, those don't grow in winter. But the rest of the year I use fresh. Um, so you're less dependent on grocery stores. Uh, during COVID, you know, so many items were um, not available, uh, uh, especially the like the green, uh, like the cucumbers and things like that were always out of stock on the shelves. Also, it it did not make me want to go to grocery store because you know I was kind of like scared at first of COVID. We tried not to go to grocery store at all for a first couple of months. Um, we all just go really rarely. And um, and I was able to do that because I was growing something and, uh, and actually grew a lot more things um, that allowed me to not go to grocery store all the time. So you are less dependent. You are not going to be completely uh, not dependent on a grocery store, but you are going to be a little bit less dependent. And that's amazing. Um, the second reason is um, you eat more veggies. We eat a lot more veggies than I used to uh, before I did gardening. And we use so many new variety of foods. Uh, and uh, for example, in tomatoes and cucumbers, I've tried uh, in tomatillos, I've tried different varieties, even in cantaloupes, different varieties that you can never find in grocery stores. Uh, very rarely you may find it in a farmer's market, but those heirloom varieties or some special varieties, you will not find them in the grocery stores because they were never, uh, never, um, I guess, Jeanette, they were never grown to, to produce mass production, you know? Sorry, I dropped something. Pick it up. <sighs> All right, so, you know, you eat more vegetables. It encourages you, it makes you happy. You're eating something that you grow. It's that, oh, let me try this first special type of cucumber or tomato or whatever your favorite veggie is, or it could be a fruit that you're um, growing. I mean, we have grown so many blackberries successfully, pears, peaches, and it is amazing to eat your own fruit and veggies. Uh, so you eat more varieties and uh, you would have uh, not tried otherwise. Uh, my kids never tried radish, but since I've been growing some radishes and beets, um, we are eating all of that uh, because I just sneak it in here and there. Before I didn't just buy them because I knew my kids would not eat it. Now since I'm growing it uh, and they're excited because I grew it, they are more willing to try it. So I think you overall, because you grow it, you'll eat more variety of food, which is good for your health. Um, the third reason is it's a great hobby. It gives you opportunity to be outside doing something, gives you more green time keeps my kids off their screen time. Uh, it is a great, um, great hobby that I did with my dad and I can do the same thing with my kids. I spend my time with my kids doing things that I love and they are learning great things. They are enjoying the soil. They're enjoying the, all the things that we're composting in our uh, garden beds and they understand all these different variety of foods 
um, they are close to how the food is grown. I think it's just, it's great learning for them. It's great bonding time for us as a family. Uh, it's a great hobby to be out in the open, enjoying um, beautiful weather. All right, and the fourth reason is you are reducing the carbon foot. What I mean by that is you're being more environmentally friendly. Um, for example, let's say basil. If you buy basil from a grocery store, it comes in some packaging. It was probably transported from some place um, to your grocery store and you had to go to the grocery store because you needed the basil. And again, I dropped my envelope. Uh, all right, so, so basically, if you grew your own basil and um, you didn't have to go to a grocery store to buy that, you save the gas from driving to your home. Um, that basil that you ate was from your garden, not from somewhere far. So that gas transportation for that basil to come to the grocery store is saved. Uh, the packaging on that uh, basil was some plastic packaging probably that uh, you didn't have to throw. So yes, you are reducing the carbon foot um, and uh, footprint and it's really good for the environment. So you're doing something good for the environment. Um, let's see. And I think that certain items uh, taste better when you grow them on your, by yourself um, than, than they are actually uh, purchased from the grocery store. And uh, that, that could be another reason too. And the last fifth number, number five reason is that um, I think there is, um, I would say a little bit, um, let me think about it, how to word it correctly. Basically, there is a lot of cruelty that happens or goes through when people are harvesting a lot of our produce. Um, there are a lot of documentaries on Netflix. I don't know if you have seen them. Um, I know that there are cruelty on on how the garlic is peeled and how the garlic is harvested and not just garlic, a lot of things, bananas uh, and a lot of other food items. And you are reducing that cruelty by growing your own food because somebody, you know, I'm, I'm eating my own grown homegrown garlic. Um, I'm not buying it from a grocery store and uh, therefore I am not involved in buying a product that could have been, could have had a cruelty possibly. I can't say that for every single thing, but I am at least helping a little bit towards that Cruel, cruelty free, uh, product that you have in your garden. Um, so yeah, those are the five reasons. I think, let me go through my list. Um, I have a lot more reasons, but I think these are the five reasons that I would like to share with you. And hopefully I inspired you. Yes, you may save some money here and there from uh, not buying those products from, but I think th those, that is not the main reason you should be gardening. You should be gardening um, I think for other great things, it gives you a lot of happiness. I am the happiest when I am in my garden or looking at a seed catalog or looking at um, Instagram with somebody else's garden product tour or garden tour. So uh, yeah, I hope I inspired you today and um, stay tuned to see my summer spring garden. I will be starting my seeds soon. Last year I started a little too early and then I got a little, got a little chaotic trying to keep all those plants uh, in the house uh, for three months because they grew a lot faster than I thought. So this time I am starting my seeds in February and they grow pretty fast. So they'll be out, out in the garden in March and April and also it'll, allow me some time to add more raised beds that I'm planning to add and clean up some of my uh, garden mess, but today is not the weather to do so. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you guys are inspired to grow more. And don't be discouraged if you kill a few plants, just keep trying. Thank you.